Hey guys, welcome back to a very special weekend edition of the Chuck Load of Comics show. I'm doing the show solo uh, for the first time ever. Shauna is finding herself exceedingly busy while she works from home, and uh, she's over there working away while I'm here uh, having fun on YouTube, guys. we got a very special show for you this week. This morning, we paid a visit to our friends over at Chicago Comics. We sat down with the manager, uh, Raphael, of the shop, and we talked about how the COVID-19 outbreak is affecting the brick-and-mortar comic shop industry and uh, what you can do as a fan to show your support and help uh, to keep these shops open, guys. China announces that uh, they were going to open 500 movie theaters starting this weekend. Well, we found out today that uh, they're going back and they're shutting their doors yet again. My one ray of sunshine story of the week has turned into a real bummer. But on the plus side, probably the most positive um, episode we uh, uh, topic we have on this week's show is The Mandalorian Season 2. We got some new casting announcements, and I could not be more excited. I was excited about the Rosario Dawson thing, but this one makes me even more excited, so stick around for that. So before we get into all the nerd news of the week, we on social media, on Chuck Little Comics Show, we uh, threw up the flag and asked you guys to send us your viewer photos of how you are spending the COVID-19 outbreak. How are you spending your social isolation. I expected we would get maybe like one or two photos. You guys answered with vigor. So we're going to go ahead and show all the viewer photos uh, from the fans of the Chuck Loda Comic Show of what you guys are doing. This first one comes from Vic over at Fan Dads, clearly having the time of his life with his son. Thank you very much, Fan Dads. I love that you guys are cosplaying uh, during this time of isolation. The next one comes from YouTuber BA in the house, sitting on his couch, just Hanging out, looking very, very cool. Thanks, B.A., you look really bored. Uh, the next one comes from our good friend Vincent Lee, hanging with his R2-D2. Uh, looking like he hasn't really taken a shower in a while. No offense, Vince. I'm just kidding, but you definitely look a little scruffy. But hey, so do I. I haven't shaved in a week or so. Next one comes from Sheila Lindsay, rocking uh, what I can only assume is a coffee filter converted into a hazmat mask. Uh, thank you, Sheila. My mother, uh, thanks for sending that photo in. Next one comes from our good buddy Aaron at Screen Stars, uh, the only uh, non-American. We got this one from across the pond. He's over in England and also looking very, very bored. Aaron, buck up, man. Just keep on YouTubing and, and you'll find this thing. Uh, time will pass super duper quick. Probably one of my favorites comes from our good friend Rafael Corona, uh, his puppet Lewis. Hanging out, reading comic books, smoking something. I assume it's a cigarette or perhaps a cigar. So, Puppet Lewis enjoying, uh, what is this? It, it looks like it's uh, Old Man Logan and uh, Civil War. I think that's what he's rocking. Uh, maybe it's just Old Man Logan. Uh, the next one comes from Charlotte Wheeler. Her and her uh, children built this really kick-ass Lego thing. When I first looked at it, it almost looked like a Transformer. But uh, lots of little Easter eggs. If you look really closely at Charlotte Wheeler's Lego fun with her and her kids. What surprised me when uh, we started getting these photos in of all you people taking pictures of your pets. Uh, your pets are clearly uh, sleeping through this entire uh, health outbreak. The first one comes from Lydia uh, Priscilla and her cat Minion. Min Minia? Minia. Her cat Minia just hanging. Next one comes from uh, Kim Stevenson, my Aunt Kim. This is her cat, Sordo, just hanging out, enjoying it. The next one comes from Angie Abraham, her cat, Lainey, named after Elaine from Seinfeld, she said in the comment section. Lainey, looking adorable. Next one comes from Pam Zuspan, a friend I haven't seen in a while. This is her cat, Aria, hanging out. And the last one, I apologize if I uh, forgot any of you guys. You got, we got so many photos. We'll put more on future episodes. But the last one comes from Amber Marie, her adorable little cat's. Uh, Lilo and Emmy. So, guys, thank you so much for sending your photos of socialized today, isolation. Um, I figure we'll keep on doing this. If the photos keep coming in, we're going to keep on doing this on the show. So, email your photos to chuckloadofcomics at gmail.com. And I think we're going to kick off every show with photos of social isolation. So, keep them coming. Email them to chuckloadofcomics at gmail.com. So, guys, we got a ton of stuff we're going to get into right now. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and break down this week's nerd news check it out
All right, guys, first big nerd news story of the day. It is a, a brick-and-mortar comic book industry story. You probably heard earlier in the week, Diamond Comics, uh, the distributor who pretty much provides comic books for almost all uh, comic shops nationwide. Well, they announced in a press release that nobody was really expecting that they are ceasing distribution of comic books nationwide until further notice. This was a real bummer, and it got us thinking, what do the uh, local comic book shops think about this, and how are they handling it? So, to cover this story, we figured we'd go right to the source, we'd break social isolation, and uh, head on over to our favorite shop, Chicago Comics. We sat down with the owner, I'm sorry, the manager, Rafael, Car Rafael Espinoza, I know a lot of Rafaels, and he uh, sort of broke it down for us. You know, what are shops doing? How are they staying afloat? So guys, check it out. This is uh, Chicago Comics uh, talking about the new recent health outbreak. Check it out. Rafael, first off, I just want to thank you and Chicago Comics for taking time out of your day to, to, to talk to us. Your incredibly busy day. It's been super busy. Chicago Comics, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been very, very busy. Uh, I didn't realize how much more work there would be to uh, <laughs> to get these comics out to customers uh, when we are not open to the public, because there's a lot more of like running around, trying to figure out what people want, uh, processing transactions over the phone, um, just stuff like that, running it out. Yeah, well, I want to, you know, kind of the purpose of this is we want to sort of set people's mind at ease a little bit. There's a lot of been a there's been a lot of rumors and, and stories and stuff, comic book shops closing and, and shutting their doors uh, temporarily. Um, First question, I mean, can you offer any of the details or any, uh, shine a little light on the statements that came from Diamond Comics about, uh, you know, them canceling distribution for a temporary amount of time? Do you have any any knowledge of, of sort of what's going on there? A lot of that information that was released um, is really the information that we got. Um, most shops and publishers didn't even get that memo until after it was released um, on the, like, news sites. Um, and that's kind of all we know for now. Can you kind of give uh, us a back uh, story on the, sort of what exactly Diamond said? Yeah, so this week, the week of the 25th, was the last week that they were going to ship out um, new comics. And then they asked uh, publishers to stop uh, sending them their comics for now. So basically everything's at a halt. They did say that um, for people who are still open, because not everyone is closed at the moment, but major cities are, um, they can still do reorders. So there's like a warehouse that is still fulfilling those orders. Uh, it's just anything that is brand new is just not coming out for now. Yeah. Have you heard anything from uh, the, the big publishers? I know like Marvel had their big uh, event that was supposed to come out in April. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, any any has there been any press releases or word from the publishers on how they're going to be handling that? Not yet. Um, I would love to know how that's going to be handled because whenever this happens, there's going to be several weeks of buildup. So I don't know if they uh, are going to just push everything back by a few weeks or months uh, just to keep on schedule or if they're just going to flood the markets as soon as everything comes back. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I hope it's not flooding the markets. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's yeah, what, not up to me. So, I mean, have you heard anything on what comic book shops are doing sort of nationwide and worldwide to kind of keep business going and, and hopefully keep their doors open and if or what they're doing while the, the doors are shut? Um, I think every business is doing a th something a little different. Everyone's trying to work through the same model of like uh, curbside pickup, uh, mail orders, uh, online orders, stuff like that. Um, it also depends on where those comic shops are because there are comic shops that are still running. They're still open to the public. Um, there haven't been any cases in their vicinity. So if they, if you're in a place near that, um, I would go and support them right away because they will probably be in the same position that we are in. Um, we are currently closed to the public. We have a shelter in place in the city of Chicago, so we're not allowed to uh, be open to the public, basically. Um, so we've been doing curbside pickup, but uh, since there are no longer new books coming out, um, we will be refraining from doing curbside pickup and just focusing on mail orders, eBay orders, um, just stuff like that. Yeah, well, that perfect segue to my next question. What are some things that people can do uh, to support their comic shop if their comic shop's open, or more importantly, if they're closed right now? Uh, what are some ways people can, can sort of support their LCS and, and keep, keep business going? Um, I would um, go to social media. I would... Um, 
I would go out there and just tell people how much you love these comic shops. I would go on their websites or call them or email them to contact them to figure out how else you can support them. Because I'm sure every comic shop is doing things a little bit different. Um, but yeah, try to support them any way you can. Give them a call, uh, shoot them an email, and try to give them any money if you can if you can spare it. Yeah, well, yeah. appreciate your time. Uh, just to kind of recap, what what's Chicago Comics' current situation? You know, you're doing the curbside thing, and any idea when you might be opening back up? Um, honestly, we're waiting for the, the city to let us know when we can be open to the public again. Um, I think as of right now, it's on April 7th. Um, but there were new rules this week um, that were implemented to that to close all the parks. So I feel like there are still changes uh, going on in what we can and cannot do in this city. So until all of that is over um, and we're open to the public, we will just be focusing on eBay orders and mail orders. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, there you have it, guys. Uh, continue to support your local comic shops by doing mail orders. Uh, give them a call. Find out what they're doing yeah. to, to still sell books. I'm sure, it's, like you said, it's going to be different at every single shop. Right. But uh, keep showing your love, man. Get on social media. Tell people that comic shops are still selling, even if the doors are closed. Raphael, Chicago Comics, thanks Great a lot for talking out. to us. Thank really you. appreciate it. And we can't wait for your doors to be back open. Me too. So, guys, just to recap, guys, your shop, please continue to show support. Uh, of your local comic shops, go to social media, go to Facebook. You can still purchase books on uh, eBay. All the shops are really doing, uh, still doing their eBay sales. Um, now, we're not going to get our weekly pulls because, of course, Diamond uh, Comics is not uh, distributing them. And it appears that Marvel and DC are putting a halt on uh, production until further notice. But you can still buy comic, book sh uh, comic books from uh, these shops' eBay pages. And, of course, if your shop is still open, go support them. Buy some comics from them. A lot of, uh, like Raphael said, a lot of people are doing uh, curbside pickup, so you can maybe call them in advance. Get uh, a list of books. What we did is we just called them up and said, hey, I know there's no books this week, but just give us some stuff that you think is cool. So little bits like that will go a long way in keeping these brick-and-mortar comic book shops open. Let us know in the comment section what you think, um, what's going on at your local comic book shop, and uh, share it because we really want to get the word out and help these shops out. So next big nerd news story of the week, guys. This was supposed to be my silver lining uh, story of the week. Uh, China announced uh, earlier this week that they are opening, reopening, 500 to 700 movie theaters. You know, they closed down 70,000 movie theaters in the country of China and South Korea, and they were going to start opening them up. That was really nice. Well, we found out today that uh, the Beijing Film Bureau has decided to reclose all the theaters that they opened up. Such a bummer. Beijing Film Bureau abruptly ordered theaters to close on Friday without explanation. Uh, obviously concern about the second wave of a possible uh, coronavirus outbreak. Um, it makes sense that they would shut these things down. I was really, you know, it was my one ray of sunshine, one, one silver lining that maybe things were looking up. Theaters were going to start opening. Well, not happening. For, I mean, the Chinese box office is uh, taking such a bath on this. The they're down two billion dollars from where they were uh, this time last year, and it doesn't look like it's going to get any better. Um, I know what you're asking: what movies would they even put in these theaters? A uh, funny little side story: what they were going to do in China is they were going to re-release Avatar going head to head against Avengers: Endgame. You know, Endgame topped Avatar in the global, worldwide uh, total box office by about $10 million. They were going to put Avatar and, and uh, in-game head-to-head in uh, Chinese theaters just to see which one comes out on top. And that would have been a really interesting thing to see, but it sounds like we're going to have to wait a little bit longer, guys. What do you think? Leave us a comment in the comment section. Let us know. Uh, would you have uh, been excited to see China opening up uh, 500 new movie theaters? And uh, when do you think, you know, U.S. is going to start opening theaters again? We know AMC has closed down until further notice anywhere from one to four months. So let us know in the comment section. Are you bummed out that China has now reclosed their theaters, or do you think this is a wise decision? We'd like to know. Start the conversation in the comment section. Last big nerd news story of the week. The one happy story I have to share with you uh, this week amidst the coronavirus outbreak. Mandalorian Season 2 still set to release coming this Christmas on Disney+. Plus. Last week we reported the Rosario Dawson Ahsoka Tano uh, casting. Well, we got new casting. None other than Mr. Michael Bean is joining the cast as 
a another bounty hunter. Who is Michael Bean, you might ask? Well, are you fans of Terminator? He played Kyle Reese in the original Terminator movie. Um, he's got an insanely long uh, list of credits. You remember if you're a fan of the movie Aliens, he played Hicks. I think it was Lieutenant Hicks. In the Alien uh, franchise, you remember the movie The Abyss? He played Lieutenant Coffee, the guy that gets uh, sort of uh, water madness in, in the movie Abyss. And uh, he was in Tombstone. Hello, Johnny Ringo. CJ, remember Johnny Ringo from Tombstone? CJ does remember Johnny Ringo. <laughs> so uh, that's exciting. And the fact that he's playing a, uh, a bounty hunter in uh, Mandalorian Season 2, he's only listed right now as being in one episode but after doing a little more digging, I realized that the only reason they say one episode is because there's only one episode currently listed on uh, Mandalorian Season 2's IMDb. So are you excited about Michael Bean, Kyle Reese, uh, joining the cast of uh, Mandalorian Season 2? Also, they announced Bill Burr, uh, one of the fan-favorite characters from Episode 6 in Season 1. He played Mayfield. Bill Burr is set to return. He's uh, reprising his role as Mayfield in uh, Season 2. I hope they bring back that entire crew. Uh, episode 6 is probably one of my favorite episodes. It was the Prison Break episode, you know, on uh, on Mandalorian Season 1. So, Bill Burr is set to return. We know Giancarlo Esposito is set to return. Uh, Rosario Dawson, like we reported on earlier, she is going to be playing Ahsoka Tano. We don't know how many episodes. We don't know if the Michael Bean thing and the Bill Burr thing is going to be a one-and-done episode thing. But hopefully, Michael Bean sticks around, so... What do you guys think in the comments section? Are you still excited? Are you more excited about Season 2 of The Mandalorian? Sound off in the comments section. Guys, that's our entire show for the week. Uh, thanks again for sending in your viewer photos. If you want to send more viewer photos in, send them to chuckloadofcomics at gmail.com. Special thanks to Chicago Comics uh, for letting us uh, come into your store, unlocking your doors to us, allowing us to break social quarantine for just a few minutes. To, to kind of fill us in on what's going on with comic shops and COVID-19. China op not opening any theaters. And, of course, Mandalorian Season 2. So that's it. I'm rambling, guys. Thanks a lot for watching this episode of Chuckload of Comics. We're here every single Sunday uh, breaking down the week in review, all the nerdy news. It's like headline news for geeks, for nerds like me, nerds like you. So click the subscribe button. Join us here every Sunday for all the fun. And have a fantastic week. We'll see you here next time.